It's running. Okay. Hello. Um, so, looking at your Bibles in John 8, and it actually starts at uh, John 7, 53, but it's usually like not part of verse, or, or chapter 7, if they put it with verse chapter 8. Does anybody have in their Bible something written there that's not a that's not a verse? The earliest manuscripts, the earliest manuscripts do not include John seven fifty three through eight eleven. What do you think that means? They were wrong. Maybe. Or they didn't Maybe I'm not sure. I know what you what. What you mean? I don't know either. <laughs> Here's what I'm going to tell you, and when I and I'm just going to say it, and and something inside you is going to start twitching when I say this, and you're going to be like, "No, that can't be right." John didn't write this. It wasn't. It wasn't part of his gospel when the gospel was written. I know. I know what you're doing. I can. I can. I can, I can feel it. Right. So. Um, so there's there's evidence for this, uh, and we'll talk more about it in just a second. We'll talk more about it in the lecture. Uh, but first, I want to just give you a little bit of an idea of of um, what it says uh, the earliest manuscripts. Um, so uh, we don't have the original manuscripts of the New or the Old Testament. Uh, but what we do have is tens of thousands of ancient manuscripts um, of, of parts of the uh, New Testament, whole books of the New Testament, whole Bibles of the New Testament. Um, and uh, we'll talk a lot about this in, a little bit about this in your junior year, a lot about it in your senior year. Um, it's called textual criticism, and part of the way they figure out what's really supposed to be in the Bible is by comparing those manuscripts to one another. And some of them, all of them are ancient. Some of them are, are very, very old. In fact, some of them may have been copies of the original. Uh, they're that old. And all of those oldest manuscripts don't have John 753 to 811. Now, does that in the Bible then? And does that mean it's not a true story? Um, we'll get to those questions uh, in a little bit, and, I, and we'll begin um, right here with uh, your questions that you'll do today. You'll do these questions, you'll turn them in, and then we'll just start uh, the lecture, and, and the part of the lecture uh, that we'll start will be um, about this idea of um, the story not being original to John, and hopefully... Uh, you'll understand why I'm saying what I'm saying when you do that. I need one of those two. See, it's not easy, is it? Thank you very much for proving that. So I'm going to read this first part to you. You can work together um, to complete it. It's just uh, five questions. So uh, it's not a lot, uh, not very long. I'll wait till those get around before I start. When I wrote this, um, uh, I, I usually did the curriculum one first and then this one, and I decided to switch it around. So as I mentioned to you in class just now, I mentioned to you in class, there is overwhelming evidence that John 7.53 to 8.11 was not originally part of John's gospel and, in fact, wasn't even written by him. It was added to the text somewhere along the way. I will share with you some of the evidence uh, for that in class, but for now I want to focus on something else. Does the fact that this story was added later mean that it's false? No, it doesn't. This story, or at least similar stories, uh, appear in a number of apocryphal, apocryphal just means outside of the Bible, uh, not part of the Bible, early works about Jesus, ancient works about Jesus, ancient, ancient stories about Jesus. So I believe it's a true story and we'll treat it that way. How do I know there aren't a lot of added stories in the Bible? 
Considering the size of the New Testament and its antiquity, how old it is, there are very few passages that are possibly not original. And they've all been identified. And in your Bible, it will tell you that. And there, there are very few. Uh, for the most part, the Bible you hold in your hand is precisely what was written in the earliest manuscripts. In many cases, these manuscripts were probably copied from the originals. So don't worry, you can trust the Bible, even if somebody added this story after the fact. And actually, I'm glad he did, because it's a great story. So uh, do John uh, 8, 1 through 11, the five questions, read what it says in here. And when you're done, uh, turn those in up here on my podium. Remember, face down, pop up. Uh, and then we'll uh, start the lecture after that. We'll be back shortly.